are here in North Richland Hills. We started a pool build, uh, I guess, in the beginning of 2020, and we knew we wanted to have some uh, design elements uh, around the pool and have some rocks. So we just started searching online to see if there was any options uh, available besides just going with traditional real rocks that would be, uh, you know, incorporated in the foundation, the slab of the pool, and you know that was going to be quite expensive. So, a uh, quick search, uh, and we came across Universal Rocks, and that helped us to uh, just finish out our pool build. You know, we moved in the home uh, August of 2019. And uh, the backyard was just kind of a, a traditional builder grade, uh, you know, gentle slope near the house. But we decided we wanted to, uh, to just have a pool big enough for the kids to play in and a little area for the dogs to, uh, to have to run around as well. So uh, we started off really with just kind of a sketch of what the backyard uh, would want to incorporate, pool, fire pit, things like that. So we decided that we were gonna do some rocks that incorporated a bit of a waterfall. So we just laid some extra piping in there. Uh, and it was uh, nerve-wracking to say the least, uh, not knowing what the finished product was going to look like. But towards the end of it, once the slab was, was poured uh, and Max and his team came out and started setting the rocks in place and getting the, uh, the rocks arranged around the pool, the whole project really started to kind of come to life with. And we started off, frankly, with kind of a, a target budget we had in mind. Um, to be able to to finish out the pool, we were already you know well into the process and we we're pretty well refined in what we wanted to accomplish. And uh, and he pointed me just towards uh, uh, just some different options they had online that we could incorporate into a grotto and a water feature and some rocks around the pool. But then I actually went out to uh, to their their shop and I had a chance to kind of actually like put my hands on the products. He walked me around, showed me just the durability of the color, and that was helpful to me um, because it just gave me the idea of seeing just dimensions of what what we were looking to do and we actually changed the size of the grotto uh, expectations in that in that setting uh, to go with something a little bit shorter just because it would have fit the design of the backyard better um, but it was a very consultative process it gave me the chance to really ask a lot of questions get comfortable with uh, the products that we would be ultimately purchasing the, the great thing was when the pool was ready um, the rocks were already fabricated so it was easier just to have them uh, come out and get them installed and I think it was installed basically in about a day and a half I mean there was a lot that was uh, uh, you know done out here to kind of get it tied into the into the decking in the pool but it, uh, it was really on time it kind of met our budget needs and we've been real happy with the product ever since I mean we do have a salt water pool so one of the things we were concerned with was that we were going to have to maintain that it was going to have a lot of color fade with just the uh, uh, just the, the harshness of salt water and we actually do nothing at all I mean it's something where uh, it, now that it's installed our kids can get on top of it they can jump into the water um, it's, it's literally maintenance free it's held up very well we went through snowmageddon the ice apocalypse snow vid whatever you want to call it you know extreme freezes we've had really extreme heat um, obviously again the salt water flowing over it uh, every single day and the, uh, the maintenance of it has been zero and it's maintained uh, the color and the look of it since day one.